All right, y'all, we are back with another video, and here we go again with old corrupt Joy Behar. This woman just don't know how to shut her mouth. Her and anybody else on The View, I kind of say this all the time when I react to The View, is just all of these women on here, all they do is attack Donald Trump and everybody else that's around him. So if anybody supports Donald Trump, they go after you. We done heard what Joy Behar said plenty of times, how she uh, wished death on Donald Trump. Type of, she hope he choke on a cheeseburger. And then you got Whoopi saying some, some stupid stuff, talking about uh, since Joe Biden, the president, he could just lock up all the Republicans. I mean, they just say some of the stupidest things I ever heard. It just don't make sense. I can't even see how they are still on air. It's just ridiculous. But like I said, we definitely going to dive straight into this one coming by Doug. I will leave the original video in the description. Make sure y'all go over to Doug's channel. Let him know that I sent you. All right. And he said that Joy Behar pounces on Christy Nome for going to the dentist. And nobody expected this. Then he went on to say that Christy Nome is on the short list to be Donald Trump's VP pick. The view goes after her. This is how the mean gears act towards a fellow woman in leadership. They always do that. They just try to attack everybody. This is just what they do. But like I said, make sure y'all hit that like button, subscribe to the channel. Without further ado, let's go ahead and dive straight into this, y'all. Because like I said, this right here is crazy. You know, Democrats in The View have to make a big deal out of everything, big drama. Yep. I don't know if this is nothing or not, but you guys can tell me if this could put Christy Nome's vice presidency pick in hot water. I doubt it. Welcome to Doug in Exile. This is where all the happy patriots are. Let's watch. South Dakota Governor Christy Nome has a lot of people scratching their heads about her side hustle, doing an infomercial <laughs> for a dentist in Texas. You can see already they're trying to drum up drama on this. She went oh, to a man. dentist in Texas that's not in her state. Big deal, right? Here's the headline. Christy Nome faces lawsuit after promoting Texas dentists on social media. But just so you can see, this is they're trying to build this up into something big in case she's the vice president. And by the way, would she get her teeth fixed if she was not potentially the vice president pick? The Republican governor of South Dakota, Christy Nome, who you see here, is facing new questions tonight from lawmakers in her state and also facing new legal action over this five-minute video that she posted, not related at all to her state or her gubernatorial duties, but instead about her teeth. I'm Christine Nome. I'm the governor of South Dakota and had the opportunity to come to Smile, Texas to fix my teeth, which has been absolutely amazing. The team here was remarkable and finally gave me a smile that I can be proud of and confident in. Here's the weird thing is I think this could mean that she's in line for vice president. Could like what be. if they said, hey, and we have a guy in Texas that'll fix your teeth. And she goes there and gets them fixed. No one at The View or CNN has come up with that angle. So I'm speculating. I'm just going, makes sense to me. Nome, who I should note here is on the short list to be Trump's potential vice presidential pick, posted this five-minute uncanny testimonial video. I guess you could say it's about her dental work at a Houston-area cosmetic dentistry firm. It was amazing to me how flexible this team was with my schedule, and they are that way with everyone. I'll be eternally grateful. It, it has been a gift to be here at Smile, Texas. So maybe I'm asking the wrong question, but she couldn't find a dentist in South Dakota? Why is Christy Nome obligated to only go to a, a dentist in her own state? That's crazy. Is that a law? Obviously, someone in Texas gave her a bill, you know, gave her some money to do this infomercial, and she's right there with Are the, you allowed to with do the, that? the party of grifters. Christy Nome is a multi-millionaire. Do you think she needs to, say, uh, to save 500 bucks on teeth by going to a different state? That's ridiculous. Hey, crazy. Sounds like something of convenience or personal knowledge that she has. Doesn't have to be illegal. Right. Look, the beloved Miss Tenaple goes to Costco to get gas to save 50 cents or 10 cents a gallon or whatever. And I go like, I just go down the street because I want my gas right down there on the mm -hmm. corner. She goes all the way to Costco. So some people go out of their way to save a few bucks. That video has now sparked questions about whether the clip was produced or posted to offset the cost of that procedure Questions, which I should note, Gnome's office has declined to answer in the nearly 48 hours since she posted it.
who decides that it's fine to be a governor and get some free whitening strips. We, is this? We is, don't is know this, if The world's on fire. Nancy Pelosi is making billions on insider trading schemes and Christy Nome is uh, saving uh, $20 on whitening strips. Point here, I mean, no one cares if someone has cosmetic procedures or whatever they, no. they have done. And she but looks great, by the way. Her teeth look great. <laughs> her, her teeth do look great. It's a great smile. Oh, good. Now the CNN ladies, we have Blonde and Brunette over there. They're also endorsing the work of the Smile Texas dental firm. Right. They say they look great. She introduced a program last year to recruit people to live and work in her state, but she was promoting a company in Texas, so that's odd. Yeah. Texas is 914 miles away from uh, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. South Dakota, so to answer your question, Whoopi, and to answer your other question, her conduct in this instance would be governed by South Dakota mm -hmm. ethics mm -hmm. laws, and if she was paid to do the ad or receive the veneers for free, mm -hmm. that would seem to <laughs> violate the gift rules, Governor. They think it's delicious. They're just man, like this right here is just ridiculous. I mean, is it a law that you can't leave where you leave your state to go somewhere else to get work did? People do that all the time. That's like a movie actor. Just let, let's just say a movie actor, he stays in California. He can't leave out of California and go do a movie nowhere else. He got to be in California. If he leave out of there, he's wrong. It, it just don't make sense. I told you, this is that's the reason why Donald Trump calls CNN, MSNBC, like all of these platforms. That's why he be calling them fake news. This is what they do. They just get anything and run with it. Oh, they did her tea for free. All she had to do was promote them. Now she's facing the lawsuit. It is just crazy. This is what The View does. This is what Whoopi does. I told you, just like how she said, oh, this is Donald Trump's potential uh, vice president pick. I told you, anybody that's around Donald Trump or that supports Donald Trump, this is what Whoopi and Joy Behar them do. And Sonny Holson is still running her mouth, but you ain't hear Whoopi them say nothing about her uh, parents being slaveholders. Why Whoopi ain't said nothing to Sonny about that? See, they ain't going to talk about that. But everybody that supports Donald Trump, they got something to say. Now they're going after this woman over her going to a dentist, just saying this dentist did good work. People go out of town all the time to get stuff did. You don't, you can't get everything did in your town. Maybe you don't like the dentist. Maybe the dentist in your state ain't good enough for you. And maybe you want to go somewhere else and get something did. I, I've just never seen anything like this, that people would just find all the little things to say just to try to bring you down. That's the reason why they be constantly facing lawsuits and stuff, because they run their mouth too much. They always facing lawsuits. Sonny hosting them almost got fired going on another show, telling everybody, telling the whole world that her family was slaveholders. It's, it's just, like, come on, man. <laughs> like, this is That's why I, say, I can't say anybody can sit here and just watch them on TV or wherever they, can, wherever they at. How can you just sit there and watch them? I like to sit here and watch them do this right here and call them out on their BS. That's what I like to do. And y'all heard Doug say it plenty of times. That's what he like to do. Like, it, it just don't make sense how they just run with everything. Praying, hoping, please do something illegal, Christy Nome. Well, if she did, she did in plain sight. She's out there recording commercials, so obviously she's not trying to hide some kind of an insider trade. Right. Thing. With all the stress that we're experiencing with this election, I'm starting to grind my teeth. Yeah, and if I watch any more of The View, I'm going to start grinding my face. You, you mentioned the potential legal action. She is facing a lawsuit by a consumer advocacy group, Travelers yes. United, that says that it is an undisclosed advertisement because it doesn't say ad or anything on it. I mean, we've seen other people, people like Kim Kardashian, face actual legal repercussions and have to, to make payments because of something like that. I think Christy Nome was actually being very genuine when she said, thank you for fixing my teeth. Does that always have to be a, a, a paid ad? For people right, who are on crazy. Trump's VP shortlist and the way that they've acted publicly, given he is a very optics driven former presidential candidate. It's true. Um, it looks matter to the former president. Um, and so I suppose if you were vying to be his uh, vice president right now, uh, it's not the dumbest idea in the world to make sure that your smile is particularly camera ready. That's the bigger question is, is this some kind of a tell? Did we just reveal something about her being vice president and getting her teeth fixed? That's more <laughs> important to me. What do you guys think is 
Christy Nome, the vice president pick. And isn't it strange that she happened to get some dental work done in a different state by experts who could be Trump handlers going, we have our special guys that'll mm -hmm. take care of your teeth. Or is this much ado about nothing? Let me know. Wow. There you go, man. Another great video by Doug. But the view is just ridiculous, man. I, I mean, they just pounce on every little thing dealing with Donald Trump. If it ain't him, it's somebody around him. Oh, now they want to go after her because they think that Christy Nome is a potential vice president pick. So now let's just attack her for going to go get her dental work did. Whooping them acting like they ain't never left their state to go get work did before. Ask any of them on that stage how they ever left their town or their state to go somewhere else to get something did. I bet you they say yeah. But they want to call out this woman for going to another state just to get dental work did. I golly. It just don't get no faker than that. Like these people are just delusional. But like I said, y'all let me know in the comment section what y'all think about this. Thank you all for watching and I catch y'all in the next one.